South Florida protesters rallying into the night demanding change of this group marching to the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office pushing for an end to police brutality. But at one point a protester was hurt while trying to direct traffic. Local 10 Sinella Sabovic is live now in Miami with more for Sinella. Well, good evening, Calvin and Nicole. That demonstration in total lasted for six hours and people gathered here directly behind me in front of the Torch of Friendship at three o'clock this afternoon. From there, they took their message to the streets, walking for about two miles to Miami-Dade County State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle's office with a very important message for her. A peaceful demonstration in front of the Torch of Friendship. We're fired up for justice. The group of about 40 protesters demanded racial equality and also mentioned that they want to defund South Florida police departments and put that money elsewhere into the community. We want people to have access to affordable housing. We want people to have access to a livable wage. We want health care for all. And we know those things can happen when we take the resources from the police budget and we put it into our communities. The group not too happy with Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle, claiming she has abandoned victims of police brutality. They marched for two months miles to her office demanding she meet with families directly impacted by police violence. Some demonstrators ran up to the door but retreated minutes later. At one point along the march, a protester on a bike who says he was trying to direct traffic in order to protect the protesters got hit by a car. Another person in the crowd snapped this picture of him on the hood of that vehicle, the moment riling up the crowd. The man on the bike wasn't hurt and continued back to Biscayne Boulevard to the torch of friendship. The protests winding down around 9 this evening. And before that demonstration wrapped up, protesters were here on the street blocking the northbound lanes of Biscayne Boulevard for a brief period of time. But again, from start to finish, no one hurt, including that protester on the bicycle. And the demonstrators tell me that they plan on holding protests throughout the weekend. For now, that's the very latest here out of downtown Miami. Sonella Sabovic, local 10 No one hurt.